Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Google Cloud's managed instance groups, specifically the auto healing feature. So to show you what I'm talking about, let's head over here to the navigation menu on the left, then down to compute engine, and then over to instance groups. So what I have on this project is one managed instance group called web app. There it is. Let's click the name to go to the overview page. And you'll see that this instance group is comprised of eight instances. So each of these instances is just an HTTP application. And it spits out some basic instance information and also has some built-in functionality that lets me change its health state. Let's go back to the overview page. So as you can see, each of these instances is currently reporting back as healthy. And the reason for that is that I have auto healing configured on this managed instance group. So let's check out that configuration. So when you create a new managed instance group or when you edit an existing one, you'll find the auto healing configuration down here at the bottom. And all it really is, is a health check. So any health check that you have on the project will show up right here, or you can create a new one up here. It's worth noting that these health checks are the same ones that you would use to configure a load balancer. So if you want to use a load balancer in conjunction with auto healing, you want to make sure that the health check that you use for your load balancer is more aggressive and checks more frequently than the one you use here for auto healing. So the reason for that is that if something goes wrong with one of your instances, you'd want your load balancer to start directing traffic away from that instance before auto healing gets started with recreating that instance. So once you've selected your health check, you need to specify an appropriate initial delay. So the initial delay tells the instance group manager how long before it should start running the health check against the instance after its provision. This is especially important if you've got any startup scripts or configuration management that needs to complete before an instance is ready to do its job. So I know that this particular application doesn't take very long to start up, so I've set my initial delay to just 15 seconds. So if you'd like to use a CLI, you can use gcloud compute instance groups managed list instances followed by the name of the managed instance group in the region, and that'll return the instances that are currently in your managed instance group, along with the zone, status, and health state. So let's keep this running down here while we see auto healing in action. So let's select one of these instances up here. One RJ5, hit the front end, and let's make it unhealthy. And now that it's unhealthy, the health check should pick up on it. So to see what's going on, let's actually see the health check that I have configured for this managed instance group by going over here down to health checks. And there's my health check, HTTP health check in use by web app. And as you can see down here, that instance is already picked up as being unhealthy and it's currently being recreated. So let's check out this configuration. Let's hit edit. So what I have here is an HTTP health check that is checking against port 80 and requesting the path health but you can select from these five different protocols. If you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll get the health criteria. So according to this configuration, this health check will check each of my instances every five seconds. If it doesn't get the response it wants within four seconds, it's gonna count that as a failure. So three consecutive failures is gonna mark that instance as being unhealthy. And it's gonna keep that health state as unhealthy or unknown until it has two consecutive successes. So my managed instance group is in the process of recreating 1RJ5, and soon it'll be back up and running in a healthy state. So in conclusion, using auto healing in a managed instance group, make sure that your instances are running the way that they're supposed to. And in any case that they aren't, they can quickly and automatically be reprovisioned and made available to make sure that your managed instance group is up and running at full capacity. So that was just a quick look at Google Cloud's managed instance groups auto healing feature.